Yeah, that's right. Today was a deeply emotional day for so many homeowners that finally got a chance to get past this roadblock you see set up right behind me here to check on their homes. Some came back in tears to find their homes miraculously saved by the fire, but others found their homes completely destroyed. As a blanket of eerie smoke lingers over homes that didn't make it. If I uh, think about it too hard, I'll just start crying. So, just, I don't know what to say. Michael Johnson is left picking up the pieces of the home he spent 28 years building. I got, no, I got here about 1.32 o'clock in the morning was the fire was going on. And so I was doing the best I could. It was too late to fight anything because this was gone. His brand new $200,000 boat, he's only taken out on the water twice. Uninsured too. <laughs> because it's brand new. Also gone, along with 71 years of memorabilia. Bronze sculptures and American antiques, about 100 different scales, gold scales, and stuff from back in the gold country days. Um, signed Ansel Adams prints, five of those. With a garden hose in hand, some of his neighbors returned to much different news. It's, it's hard. You know, I, I actually told a few people, I'm like, I don't expect it to be there. So, yeah, I'm pretty grateful. A charred footprint of the flame's unforgiving path, just feet and sometimes inches away from homes. Thank you, firefighters. Yep. You know, we really appreciate it. Not far from where Michael once called home. I don't know what, what why one goes and one doesn't. And some positive news here. We are happy to report that some evacuation orders have been lifted for the remainder of the city here in Vacaville, with the exception of the following area that we are set up right here, which explains that roadblock that you see behind us. We are actually, we are set up uh, just south of Foothill Drive and west of Alamo Drive. That's also from Monte Vista Avenue to I-80. Back to you.